Central Division. <laughs> so how big of an opportunity is this for them? Oh, I think they're looking forward to it, to go into New Orleans and play a team that everybody thinks is great on their home field. Dallas is going to show up to play. The way you get respect in this league, you have to beat good teams. You have an opportunity. Let's see what happens. Saints, obviously led by Drew Brees. He's our first coach's clicker. Take us through what he's doing in and outside the pocket. Well, Drew is playing great football, but he's got a lot of weapons. And the biggest weapon in a lot of ways is Jimmy Graham. Here you see a tight end lined up outside, not normally out there. They're going to motion him in, and he's going to run a double move. Not many tight ends can do this uh, and use this type of speed, but Breeze makes it happen just by being able to step up in the pocket a little bit, right? Yeah, Coach, but there's something special about having a 6'7 tight end <laughs> that can run. You line him up all over the place, out wide. He doesn't traditionally line up in a um, tight end position, but look at the speed. Look at the athleticism, the hands, and the strength to get in the end zone. <laughs> yeah, and he's been great for them. Drew Brees has been great in the pocket, but this year we've seen him move around a little bit more and do some things out of the pocket as well. This is a third down and 20 play against Buffalo, and this is usually the strategy. Come inside, break that pocket down, not let Brees see and set up. But here he moves away from it, Rodney, and makes a play. Yeah, Coach, and this is how you see how athletic he really is. This is a throw off of one leg, and you see his arm strength, which he's not traditionally known to have a, you know, a big, strong arm. But look at Kenny Stills. That is put in a perfect place where only he can get it. Yeah, he uses his body, and Stills is playing great football for him as well. Another, another one of those weapons. Not as much pressure on Drew Brees compared to last season. It seemed like he had to basically score a touchdown every single possession. When you look at the defense, the Saints playing. 10-point differential, the yards obviously way down, over 100 difference there. And this is the deal, 31st in the NFL, their only league. What's the biggest difference? Well, he was a coach of mine in New England, and he really wanted to be aggressive. A lot of man-to-man -man coverage, a lot of creative blitzes. So I think he's having a, a, a fun time out there with all these different guys that he has. Malcolm Jenkins, Kenny Vaccaro. And that coach you're speaking of is Rob Ryan, who brings that aggressiveness. You see the sack numbers, blitzing a lot of things up, putting pressure on opposing offense. And now Rob Ryan, they have to deal with Des Bryant, <laughs> yeah. a guy who uh, occasionally tells you that he wants the football. <laughs> well, he, he does want the ball, and there's a good reason for it, because he can do things with it. And what he's saying is, I'm double covered because I'll make great plays for you, and this guy's an athletic freak, right? He is, Coach. And look at the strong hands and just, that's double coverage right there. There's two <laughs> guys on him, and Tony Romo, I like the fact that Tony Romo understands that this guy's going to get a lot of double coverage, but he still wants to close tight situations. And here, most Guys would run out of bounds here. Des Bryant has the body control to stay in bounds and the finishing speed to score a touchdown. On the other side of the football, Dallas defense, they've been on the highlight tape for a lot of opposing offenses. Yeah, I know Monty Kiffin coaches a style of defense, a lot of zone coverage. He's got man-to-man -man cover corners who aren't great tacklers, and this has been a problem in that secondary, Rodney. And this is disappointing to see a basic slant route that goes over 50 yards. You have to be able to tackle, but the one thing they do, Coach, is they hustle. Orlando Scandrick, they get to the ball. And uh, on the pass rush side of it, DeMarcus Ware has been out. George Selvey has been a pleasant surprise for them. He has been the guy creating pressure, and they're going to have to do this against Drew Brees. Is this Monty Kiffin's influence? <laughs> Not sure. Coach dancing in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> we do have to talk about Tony Romo because, let's face it, we've talked a lot about him not being clutch, but against Minnesota. He leads them to victory late in the game. He was clutch. What does that do for his confidence? Well, I think he's been very confident, but they needed that win. And to, to lose that game to Minnesota would have been devastating at home. But he brought them back, and they needed that. It just goes back to what you always say. Just make the simple play. Don't make the, the, the unbelievable play. Also, another good matchup that we're looking forward to, a division matchup. We have Chicago and...